would I like to say aloha everyone welcome to my channel again um today's look is gonna be another Kim Kardashian look uh, I know I did another Kim Kardashian look way back but that is way too dramatic something that I would not recommend to wear every day but this look right here I always use it whenever I go to work I apply this whenever I go to work um if you really wanted something subtle just minus the black and keep it like the nice gray um, subtle colors with the nice dark browns or like really just stick to the naturals you can easily replicate this look just without the black but if you really want it dramatic um, which I kind of have it in the middle something that it's um, very like nice and subtle but at the same time it's like a twist of dramatic so if you really want it dramatic just add more black or just add black to your to this look I might just add it a little but um since you know I just wanted to like have it something that's like really easy to replicate um yeah this is the look for you guys uh, so if you want to know how I did this uh, inspired Kim Kardashian look please say enjoy all right, my darlings, this is the eye look that we're going to do today. And of course, it's part for the beautiful Kim Kardashian. Now, off camera, I applied my primer, my liquid foundation, and my concealer. For the primer, I'm using Rock Candies. I probably can get these at Walmart. I'm using my favorite MAC liquid foundation, which is the Studio Fix one, and concealer. Next, you're going to take your Urban Decay Primer Potion. You can use any primer for your eyes, any one that you already have, doesn't matter. And apply that all over your lid. And don't forget the lower lash line also. Next, you're going to take a eyeshadow brush just like so. And then you're going to, we're going to use um, this really nice um, pigment powder from MAC. It's like a really nice um, peachy with a tint of gold to it. Now, since this is a loose powder, we're going to use a Studio Fix, and this is my first time using it, and I, I'm in love with this product. So, like, what you see that I'm doing, so, like, what I did, I sprayed the Fix Plus on top of the extras on the cap that there is on the cover. Um, what it does, it makes it um, a really nice eyeshadow instead of having it flying all over the place you don't want that so it's really nice to work with and you go ahead and apply that all over the lid and don't forget the inner corner of your eyes and you want to highlight that area when you're done with that you're gonna take a medium sized brush just like that and we're gonna work with the MAC palette today and you can use any color you want but for the brow bone I'm gonna use that really pretty color called blank type and apply that all over your brow bone next we're gonna take a blending brush just like that and then we're gonna take again our MAC palette and we're gonna be using the color Hawks you're gonna apply that just above the crease line and with the same brush you're going to use club which is that really nice teal brown color and apply that to just put a little more depth to it next you're going to take a pencil brush just like so you're going to take club once again and then we're going to apply that to the lower lash line just like that next you're going to take a liquid foundation and I'm using Maybelline stiletto again in black and then so we're gonna create a wing like look for this look I want for like this look right here I'm gonna have the outer corner thick and as you go into the inner corner we're gonna have it really thin as possible just like that Next, you're gonna. T I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Pro palette. We're gonna use the black color right there, and I'm gonna put the link below where I got this thing. And then with the same pencil brush, you're gonna take that color and then just apply that over the black liquid liner, just so it looks like it just flows together. And then drag that color down to the water line, and just like what I'm doing right now. Next, you're going to take a blending brush and you're just going to blend that black 
and with the brown, which is the club and the hawks together. So it becomes one look. And for black, since it's like really hard to work with sometimes, apply a little and then if you want it darker, just apply more if you want because black goes a really long way. Next, after this, you're going to take uh, any cool eyeliner you have. And I'm using NYX Cool Eyeliner in black. And I'm a fan, a really huge fan. So with this, you're not going to go all the way. You're going to meet maybe just a little past halfway, just like that. Not all the way where you do the highlights and stuff. Next, you're going to take any mascara that you have and apply it on your eyelashes, top and bottom. And right now I'm using my favorite, all-time favorite, ever since I got it, it's Rock Candy. And it has a growth serum to it because I have really thin eyelashes. And then, so like what I'm doing right now, just apply it on the lower lash line. Just like so. So next you're going to take your falsies. Of course, I would never go out without falsies. And I know Kim Kardashian wouldn't go out without falsies either. So apply your glue on, and then you want these, you want to apply this as close as your regular eyelashes, so it flows really, like, natural. I got these eyelashes from model21eyelashes.com. If you guys are interested, I have the link down below in the comment box. So while the glue dries, you're going to take any foundation you have, and I'm using MAC Studio Fix Foundation. You're going to go ahead and apply that all over the face. What I like about this foundation, it has a really full coverage. I know it sometimes kind of, it's like a really heavy foundation sometimes, but it depends how you apply it on. For me, I like to have my face really matte and finished, so I, I kind of put a lot. Sorry. <laughs> Next, we're going to take a blush and a foundation brush that I like to use for some odd reason but right now I'm using max matte blush in rose and you apply that in the apples of your cheeks not in haha <laughs> on the apples of your cheeks just like so next you're gonna take a liquid not liquid a lip liner <laughs> sorry for my mistake and I'm using NYX lip liner in natural Next, you're going to take a lipstick, and I'm using Victoria's Secret's Matte Lipstick in Femme. And it's a really nice new color. And it goes with anything, too, as you can see. And if you really like glitters, for me, I like to twist it up a little, especially when I go to work. I'm using... MAC Pigments Glitter in Gold, what should we call it again? Antique Gold, sorry, right there, Antique Gold, and then you're just going to dab it on with your finger. I don't want to use a brush because it goes everywhere. You can kind of tame it down, um, kind of tame the glitter. Alright, my sweetie pies, we are done with this Kim Kardashian look. I really hope you guys had so much fun watching this video and recreating this look. If you have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment box. And yes, I hope to see you guys soon in a new video, alright? Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, alright? Bye and love you guys all.